horse trains. Today I'm going to uh, start marking out my layout for the town of Gary. Uh, we've got our bench work in, you've seen that. We've got our first trains running uh, to test our track. We've got a long drag with, with F7s pulling uh, a full set of freight. And we keep it running so we can check out all the different sections and just make sure we have no problems with any of our connections or any of our switches. What I'm doing today is I take number six switches and number four switches and I put them in here and then I also have a set of points. The set of points I can take that gives me my radiuses. Now we're going to be doing yards in here and we're actually going to model, if you, everybody wants to look up, the John Allen uh, switching game. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do to get the John Allen switching game, because there was three dead ends at one side and three dead ends at one, the other side, and also a turnaround or a bypass, we're going to lay that out in the town of Gary. This way we'll have buildings in the front, we'll have buildings in the back, and, we'll, and down towards this end, we're going to have the factories and warehouses where the dead end siding tracks can go to. And then we'll come around the other side where the bridge comes into Gary, and that'll come into one of the other sections. As we, this is my set of points which I use to actually make our radiuses down to 18 inch, 18 inch, 18 inch radiuses. So I actually take and I slide my points back and forth so that I can actually get my radiuses which will compensate for the, for the actual radius of the railroad. And as we do this, we can set up our buildings in the town like our front street. And we can set up the areas that go back with the mercantiles. And then we can set up our other areas where, where, we, have, where we have the industries. So what I do is I take pieces of plywood, because this is all cookie cutter, and I put them down here and this actually mark this section on the track. So when I do lay out my cookie cutting, I'll have actually po actual points to, to come to connect to. And then, I, and then I mark on my track, my main line, where the sidings are going to come out. And from that point, I take and I can put my radiuses. Now you remember this is going to be a three-dimensional layout, and we're going to go up. So this layer will also have another level this high, so it has to be behind our actual scenery in the front of Gary. And as we go forward, you will see this week as I start to raise our elevation. And I appreciate you staying with us, and each day we're going to give you a little bit more. Right now I'm just going to sit down here and I'm going to make my points of contact so I can start cookie cutting some more of my bench feet. And that's where we are today. And I hope you stay with us and we enjoy you. And remember, this is Iron Horse Trains on YouTube and also Iron Horse Bench Work. And it's all available to you. You can order it online or you can order it through the store. Yeah. Just hear it call, that train to call him. People have been known to walk these tracks at night. Hear the whistle blow, oh, well, whistle blow him. They say, yeah, at the end of the tunnel is a very big bright light. All right.